Athalia was a daughter of King Ahab of Israel, and her name means the Lord is exalted. King Ahab was a corrupt ruler who led the people of Israel into false worship of Baal and other idolatrous practices. He married a foreign woman named Jezebel and supported her while she promoted pagan religions in the nation of Israel. Athalia learned a lot from both of her parents. What she displayed during her life could probably be attributed to her mother, Jezebel. Queen Athalia forced her way on the throne of Judah and ruled the land for six years. She is on the Bible timeline starting in 897 BC. King Jehoram married Queen Athalia and became associated with the family of Ahab. Jehoram was apparently impressed and influenced by Ahab because he became a part of his lineage through his marriage to Athalia. He also governed his people in the same way as Ahab. Once Athalia became his wife, she encouraged Jehoram to continue in the ways of her parents. Jehoram followed her advice and tempted God to destroy the kingdom of Judah. God didn't wipe out the people because of the promise that he had made to King David about keeping one of his descendants from each generation ruling from the throne. A military commander by the name of Jehu was sent by God to kill off the royal line of Ahab. Jehu had carried out God's orders and destroyed most of Ahab's family, including Athaliah's husband, Jeroham, and her son, King Ahaziah. Once her son had passed away, Athaliah decided to kill off the rest of the royal line so that no one could claim any right to rule. Apparently, it didn't matter if the people she was killing was her children grandchildren and relatives. After she carried out this deed, she became the undisputed Queen of Judah. While Queen Athaliah was wiping out her royal line, her sister Jehosheba hid one of Ahaziah's children named Joash and hid him in Solomon's temple under the watch of her husband Jehodiah, who made sure that he would remain safe until the right time. Jehodiah was a godly man and the head priest in the temple. While Athaliah ruled the kingdom, he plotted her assassination in order to place the young king Joash back on the throne. In the sixth year of Athaliah's rule, Jehodiah carried out his plot. He took the young king to the temple and declared him king before the people. Athaliah heard the commotion and tried to figure out what was going on. While she went down to observe what was happening, Jehodiah ordered the soldiers to assassinate her and anyone who followed her. Once Athalia was slain, the young Joash was finally free to rule the kingdom of Israel. Thanks for watching. If you like to see more content, make sure to like, comment and subscribe.